What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. <laughs> okay. Today, what we're going to talk about is a lot of things. But first on the show, because somebody commented yesterday and said, what is this? That's it. They said, what is this? This show is just a 10-minute show. That's it. It's something that I film every day. It's 10 minutes. It doesn't have to cur- necessarily be about current events. I talked about loneliness. I, I talked about weight loss. You know, you just talk. I'm talking about anything. This story is most notable to me. Harvey Weinstein may be a woman. Harvey Weinstein may be intersex. That's right. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. A woman said in court that when Harvey took his pants off, a witness of his um, who, you know, came forth and said that he was uh, sexually uh, abusing her. Um, she stated that when he took his pants off, there was a lot of bruises, a lot of scars, and it kind of didn't really look like he had a male genitalia. It literally looked like a woman's genitalia. So people are now claiming that he's intersex. This woman said that he's intersex. What do I have to say about this? <clears throat> First thing I have to say is, what on earth is happening? <laughs> what is happening in 2020 where Harvey Weinstein is intersex and there's a Fast and Furious 45? So there's levels to intersex. There's about six levels. Um, each level, you know, the first level would be uh, a full male genitalia. There's absolutely no... Um, case of being of having a female genitalia and the sixth level would be a full female genitalia now from one to six it slowly start the the male genitalia slowly starts to transform into the females part and now you know you have like so one to six three and four are like the most notable ones and then you know you you have like the ones that get closer to the one or the six are obviously you know they mimic the full genitalia so She said that it's near the middle. So this dude has like the three and four one. And it's just so, what a, I don't even know what to say. Does anybody know what to say at this point from 2020? It's been four weeks of 2020. Four weeks. This is what we got. Just saying. Harvey Weinstein is intersex, allegedly. And... Fast and Furious just released their 45th movie. I don't even know what to think about this Harvey Weinstein thing. I don't even know. I'm still trying to process how the how this guy stayed in Hollywood for so long, and then all of a sudden they toss this bombshell of news on me that states that he's intersex. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say at this point about anything that happens in Hollywood. Why didn't any of his other witnesses say that? Maybe in the beginning? <laughs> that would have been top tier information to learn in the very beginning instead of keeping it this late. Oh yeah, by the way, Harvey Weinstein has a female genitalia. It's like, oh, as if all of this wasn't enough. <laughs> Fast and Furious came out with a movie John Cena joins the family. Everything is about family. Um, you know, when I watched the trailer, I was so upset because the the trailer started out with uh I live my life one quarter mile at a time. I was like, oh my God. Why do you keep saying that, Vin Diesel? Why? Can we please just take that dialogue <laughs> out of the script? I live my life one. I, 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 live, I live my life one quarter mile. I live my life. It's like, dude, please. We get it, man. Um, Here's the trailer all in all. Vin Diesel, you know, Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris. The story goes on. And then they added a new addition, which is John Cena. John Cena, so to speak, plays the the villain in the story. When um, you, I, What I never understood about Fast and Furious is that they're the villains. They, they really are. I mean, they're the villains. You know, um, in the beginning, Vin Diesel was like this undercover guy who's all about gang violence and cars and racing and you know, money and stealing. And then uh, Paul Walker comes in and he's kind of the guy who is an undercover cop. And then he stops being a cop to join these thieves. And then these thieves start to get into more chaos. And now they're in the biggest form of chaos. And all these cops just leave the force to join them. It's so weird. Like Paul Walker left the force to join them. Dwayne The Rock Johnson leaves the force in number five to join them. Everybody is like, all the cops are like, dude, I don't want to keep getting paid this salary. These thieves are making millionaires. If you can't beat them, join them. That's how this movie rolls. 
<laughs> and then John Cena. This is why I'm telling you, John Cena is like the villain. He's like the good guy in the or the bad guy, but the bad guy in Fast and Furious movies is the good guy. The bad guy is always a cop. Okay. So when the bad guy is always a cop in Fast and Furious, in real life he's a good guy, but in the Fast and Furious movies, since it's from the bad guy's point of view. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's like the movie you, that's like the show you, the show you left me so conflicted because the guy, the main guy is a serial killer. But every time something happened to him, I was like, dude, what is wrong with these people around him? Like, do you have any morals? And it's like, wait a minute, I'm defending a murderer. What's going on? So it like skews your perspective. The good people start to be the bad people and the bad people start to be the good people. So weird. Like if you think about it, everybody from fast and furious is a, you know, underground thief. Like they're they're bank robbers and number five. They've shot people. They've killed people. Like they're not good people, but because they make the movie in their perspective, the cops, you know, the people that are trying to save other people, they're all bad guys in their eyes. Definitely a weird thing that movies do sometimes. Dude, I'm I'm trying to diet. All right, let ch- because you know when I was watching this trailer, I saw John Cena and Vin Diesel, and I was like, "All right, dude, like these guys are like four times my age, and they're so in shape." I mean, come on, man. Ugh. I don't understand if it's because I mean a lot of people say like, "Oh, you're young, you know, you still got a lot of time ahead of you, you still got that baby fat," and I'm like, "All right, you know, I'll give you that," <laughs> but I don't want this baby fat. You see, I don't want it. I don't even want the fat period. And I don't understand, like, this is how my body works, ready? I'll diet for like four months and I'll lose like seven pounds and I'll be so proud of myself. Then somebody on YouTube will be like, it's good to give yourself cheat meals. Make sure to give yourself a cheat meal once in a while, once in a while. And I'm like, all right, give myself a cheat meal, gain all the seven pounds back the next day. What was the point of even exercising? And now I'm caught in this loop where I'm just... I'm, I'm losing weight, and then I binge eat for like four days and gain it all back and then lose it again. I'm in the binge eating episode right now, and now I'm going to go work out and lose nine pounds and then binge eat it all back. That's how you do it, babies. Sometimes I just want to go get surgery or something. Everybody should get surgery. That's it. So many people are like, dude, that's cheating or, or like go on steroids or something. Surgery or steroids. What, what is so wrong with that? What does that do? What does steroids do? Cut like six years out of your life. So if I live until like 80, I'm going to live until 74. It's fine. I'll do that. I don't care. <laughs> Tell me about your weight loss journeys and what you guys think. You know, trying to lose this chubby belly, trying to lose this muffin top. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and um, turn the post notifications on. I forgot about those things. I'm starting to become a real YouTuber now, so turn the post notifications on. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.